where she wasn't able to walk or take care of her two teenage children. LaShonda Carter shared her family's heartache. Younger sister Takia suffers from debilitating lupus attacks, but LaShonda can't take time off from work to help care for her. New Jersey's current paid family leave law doesn't include sisters. If we were in a position to be able to take the leave, to be able to help her, that would be tremendous. Um, sometimes that's all you have is those siblings as a family unit that needs to be there for one another. No one should have to choose between taking care of a loved one when they need us most or going to work to make ends meet. That's why a group of advocates called the New Jersey Time to Care Coalition today called on Governor Christie to sign A4927, a bill that would enhance coverage of New Jersey's paid family leave insurance law. Currently, the insurance covers children, spouses or partners and parents. But the bill would also make siblings, grandparents and grandchildren and in-laws eligible. It would double the paid time off allowed from 6 to 12 weeks and it would increase weekly benefits from almost 67% of wages capped at 633 bucks up to 90 percent of weekly wages capped at 932 dollars. Allison Peltzman says she wanted extra time with baby Beatrice. My body was still healing and I felt I needed more time to learn how to become the mother of a newborn. The boost in wage benefits means more workers would be able to afford family leave. Jesse Burns says the current benefits just don't pay enough and her family's hurting as a result. No one should be forced to choose between caring for their dying mother or bonding with their newborn daughter. But because of the low wage replacement and limited time allotted under the current family leave program, that is exactly the decision my husband had to make. New Jersey is one of four states that offer paid family leave. The others are New York, Rhode Island, and California. Advocates walked a letter over to Governor Christie's office asking him to sign this bill. If he does, it would make Jersey's law the most comprehensive. New Jersey's law is paid for by an annual statewide payroll tax of $33.50 per employee, and it affects businesses with more than 50 workers. The bill would lower that threshold to firms with 20 or more staffers, but opponents say New Jersey's bill makes it tough for large companies that operate nationwide. They're just adding to the patchwork um, and just making it more difficult where employers are constantly having to go back and figure out Okay, what state is offering what and how can we uh, provide one definition um, that satisfies um, all of the definitions across um, you know, the country. But for small business owners like James Parker, it levels the playing field. It enables me to offer these benefits to my employees that I care about mm -hmm. and not have to you know, bear that cost. For LaShonda Carter, it's a family matter. To not be able to help my sister first is disheartening. It hurts me. It makes me feel like um, I'm not there. The governor's office had no comment. In Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.